plug the once you plug this in um, now we, if you were to go media um, carplay is an option sure is if you're using the electrify america network you're able to tap the app um, it brings up the one that's closest to you you tap it again and then when you hit navigate it'll open up apple maps and guide you to that location Getting on the highway, turn the system on so you push those little, the little car and the speedo button right there. And then you take it up to where you want. When you hear that ding and all the green stuff comes on, and see where it says HDA, that's the highway driving assistant. The miles per hour is in green. That means it'll follow the speed limits. It'll jump up to whatever speed limits it sees. And the steering wheel is green, so that means that the car is steering in the lines. So we're slowing down for that car that just exited. Um, and now we're going back up to the speed. Uh, the, the lines are white and they're um, green up here as well. So that's letting us know that it's reading the lines as well as controlling the steering. And then here we can adjust. Oh, that's the, that's the speed. See how when it, see when the speed went white? That means you're selecting the speed. When it goes green, that means the car is going to follow the speed limit signs as it reads. What did you do there? So see, I was able to adjust the speed. So I could set it down to 55 if I wanted. Okay. And you can go up to 65 too? Yep. Yep. But if you do that, when you hit 70 miles per hour on the north side of town, like it's not going to change. It's just going to stay on this. Okay. But if you come down to here, it'll follow the speed limit. So right here is the button for changing a following gap between you and other cars. And that's right here. So that's distance one, distance four, three, two, close to any car so it yep. make any difference. You can use the brake or this button to shut off the system and then to resume you just tap this the silver button. Okay. Cruising along at 60 miles per hour just up ahead is the mile per hour change to 70. The camera will pick up the 70 mile per hour sign and it will jump the car up automatically to 70 miles an hour. Just changed and now the car is adjusting to the 70 miles an hour. So it's already got the green wheel. Now it's on lane assist. Yep. Now I'm really taking over. Well that's because you don't you have to push this button once you get into your lane. Now this button right there okay good push it yep okay now so see how it says 68 bump bump that toggle switch up a couple and when it dings that means now it's uh, following the speed limit but right now we're following behind these cars at 66 yeah. So I wanted to switch lanes. It wants, it wants me to switch the lane. It's not going to automatically switch that lane once it, the blinker's on. It it will not change lanes. You have to turn the put the blinker on and change lanes. But if you don't put the blinker on, it will try to keep you in the lane you're in for safety, right? Yeah. Okay. So activate it by you can hold this and it down. It puts the car in a stop if you hold it, and then it says stop. Okay. 
So now if I want to turn on eye pedal, then I have to increase the levels of regenerative braking. There's two, three, and then eye pedal is the last one. And eye pedal is the one that'll bring you to a complete stop. And it's better regenerative braking than just it's, letting the it's, car... It's stronger. You don't have to push the brake if you don't want to. Except there are times where you're traveling too fast and you still need to push on the brake. Of and course. that's on eye pedal, so you just came to a full stop. Yeah, and I didn't touch the brake touching. pedal at all. Okay. There are four proximity sensors across the rear bumper that work together with the rear backup camera.